Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Steam OS on any PC that you create to actually make your own Steam box. I'm doing this entirely in a VM for demonstration purposes. In all honesty, you can do the expert install or rescue mode for this particular situation. We are going to use the automated, and by the way, in order to find the actual link to download either the USB images or the DVD ISO, just look down in the description. You'll see the link that you go to to find those files. They're all pretty small two of them are one gig the DVD ISO is only one gig and then the big main one is a USB image and it's like 2.2 gig or something like that it's not real big but once you get it booted up you're gonna to want to do the automated install it will erase everything that's on the disk so just be prepared for that if you have anything on the drive that you don't want to lose you probably should have had it backed up before you ever even started the install process. The automated system literally goes through, sets up, and configures, and does most of everything for you. Steam OS is based on Debian 7, which is the same operating system that Ubuntu and Linux Mint are based off of. So, you should be able to get the actual Steam application to run okay in Ubuntu or Linux Mint. Uh, the Debian system, well, originally, initially, it had been dead for some time. Like, the latest one was Debian 7. I guess they finally picked it back up, started working with it, but the Steam OS is based off of the same system that Ubuntu and Linux Mint both are so it should be rather stable Debian's a pretty stable Linux OS and distribution that and with all the .deb files out there this it's there is a lot of software out there for Debian based systems Obviously, SteamOS uses a lot of GNOME environment, which is installing a lot of GNOME packages. Reboot. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You have Grub. You have the recovery mode. This is pretty standard with a lot of the Linux installs, especially with the Grub bootloader. Recovery mode's really good if you're having problems. Be able to go in and write out what the issue is, get it fixed. For this, we're actually just going to boot straight into the Steam OS.
know why it's, it's having problems because it's a virtual machine but with that being the case it's still going to go ahead and load up and run GNOME may have had a minor issue as you can see it's already updating Steam you have valve bug reporter to be able to report different issues naturally you have the computer and then of course you have Steam a lot of your Steam games there are already Linux versions of them out there and will actually directly port over if you log into your Steam account on the Steam box it will directly port over and you will actually have a majority of your games more and more games are being converted over for the Linux OS for use with Steambox and Steam in Linux which later on down the road is going to put a serious hurting to Windows especially with Steam OS you can build up just about any PC that you want to be specific for a gaming PC or you can even go through the trouble of building up your own console they do have their own Steam controllers and stuff that work great with Steam Engine and with the PCs. You can effectively build up your own console, install Steam OS, and you have your own full-blown Steam console. Of course, you can also see that it has a lot of the base standard utilities and applications. You got your calculator, your disk utilities, your screenshot capability, games, you go straight to Steam and Valve Reporter, graphics, you got Image Viewer and everything else, Internet, there's Ice Web Browser, Ice Weasel, uh, you can go to Steam here, you have your desktop sharing, Office, you can actually go install your own programs if you want to given the fact that this is Debian you got your software updates and everything else so there is a lot you can do with this it does not have to be limited to just steam yet at the same time that is the primary focus for it actually going through now and configuring the OS specifically for Steam and just like that it's done and ready to rock and roll and all you got to do is just fire up Steam log into your account pull down and install your games and you are up and running you get to see it right here the Steam OS Anyhow, you got to see the Steam OS. Once it finishes, it'll boot up. You're up and running. You can log into Steam, install your games, and play them. This information is out there for absolutely everybody, as always. Watch, like, and share. And have a great day.